Hey guys, it's Zuki here and welcome to Nesta TV. So, dairy. It's one of those things that's become a bit of a hot topic in recent years, with some people advocating for dairy products due to their high protein count, while others have honed in on the um, problematic farming practices across much of the dairy industry. But what actually counts as dairy and what doesn't? Some of the results might surprise you. So let's jump in. So, dairy is basically defined as any product that contains or is made from animal milk, and that isn't just limited to food. Let's start with eggs. Eggs often get lumped in with dairy because they're a popular animal product and they're avoided by vegans. But eggs aren't technically dairy products as they have nothing to do with milk. They're made by birds, not mammals. They also don't contain any lactose. So if you're looking for a dairy-free life, then eggs can stay on the menu. But while eggs don't count as dairy, your moisturizer might. There's been a growing trend of using goat's milk in the beauty industry in recent years, and goat's milk definitely is dairy. Lactic acid and certain milk-derived proteins can often feature in skincare products because they can be really quite good for your skin. But if you're trying to avoid dairy altogether, then make sure to stick to plant-based alternatives instead. And speaking of beauty, protein powders have exploded in popularity in recent years thanks to the rise and rise of Instagram models and affordable gyms. Protein powders can come in a wide variety of forms, including beef protein, egg protein, and even pea protein. Perhaps the most common, though, is whey protein, which is derived from a waste product in the manufacture of cheese, and cheese is, of course, a dairy product. Thankfully, there are plenty of non-dairy alternatives these days, so you have options. But dairy can also sneak into places where you least expect it. Creamy foods like custard, ghee, gelato, and eggnog all contain dairy. But dairy has also been known to find its way into pasta sauces, ketchup, potato chips, and even chewing gum. So always read the label and know exactly what you're eating. So there you have it. I hope these tips help you on your quest to eat and use less dairy. If you like this video, then I'd like you if you gave it a thumbs up. We release new health and wellness videos every Wednesday, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more. This is Nesta TV, thanks for watching, and stay happy and healthy. It's one of those things that's become a bit of a hot top. So, dairy is basically... Protein powders can come in a...